In this video, I will be talking about how can we implement dependency injection in Azure functions. So you sometimes you can also say DI, which is short form dependency injection. So dependency injection is a very well known design pattern, which is used to implement IOC because it provides you a facility to segregate object creation logic from your actual usage. So let me quickly jump onto my Visual Studio. So I'm using Visual Studio 2019 and i'm going to create a new project from here so you can search for azure functions click on this one you can choose the language you want my preference is c sharp so i'm going with this one and here you need to provide some name click on create and i'm going with the http triggered one so click on this Okay, now you can see that the basic Azure function is ready and it has some default code already for us. So the very first thing what we need to do is we need to create service or you can say some classes and interface which you need to inject. So for that, I'm going to create a new folder services. You can name it anything as per your logic. And inside this, I'm going to add one interface. So let me select interface here. And I'm going to call it I current time provider. So I will give it some function. So get current time is the only function this uh, particular interface is holding and it will give you the current time. Current time. Next, I'm going to create a new class and I will name it as current time provider, which will inherit our iCurrent provider. Okay, so let's make it public. And here I can say I current time provider and here we will provide some definitions so it is implementing this particular function get current time which is part of this interface and it is just doing simple thing which is returning the current date and time now the next thing what we need to do is we need to inject our dependencies so for injecting this we need to come up with this class which will perform all this for us so i'm going to create a new class and i'll name it as startup which is like the general notation how we used to do but there is no hard and fast tool you can go with your own names okay and the very first thing we need to do is we need to pull in some new git packages so click on manage new kit package, go here, browse and the very first one I need is for Azure function extensions. So you can search for Microsoft Azure functions extension and this is the one which I'm going to install. Click on accept. Okay, uh, I need one more. Uh, library that is to handle our http client so for that let's search for microsoft extensions.http click on this one and install this also okay so now we have everything is in place so very first thing what we can do is let's make it public first and then inherit here function startup okay so i need to add the namespace so your functions and so this is the one which we need and we need to implement one it's an abstract class which is having a function called configure now in this function we need to initialize few things so i'm going to just grab my pre-written code here okay so what it is doing is uh, i need to again add references
okay so what we are doing here is we are first saying construct http client and then we are mapping this particular interface with this particular class so whenever we are we want to use this class we will not be doing new because it is already done by this startup class so this is the benefit which we can gain it from here so let's close this file because we are done the only purpose was of this file was to perform the mapping between the class and the interface so let's go and close all these things the one thing which is remaining is our function app main class which is function 1.cs now here we need to first declare the two variables which are like let me place it over here and they are going to handle our http client as well as our interface so these are the two okay so i need to pull them inside my class okay and i'm not going with static here so i will remove the static keyword from here okay the next thing is we need to define constructor of this class because we want to initialize our two newly created private members so this is how we can do it so http client will have its object from the create client and the current time provider will get it from your interface so this is done the next important thing which we need to do we need to implement this function body so for implementing this let me quickly grab my code so there are hardly few lines okay so i have left all these things as is and next what i'm doing is i'm just calling that particular function which is like by my object see you can see that this object is of i current time provider so rather than i am doing new i am simply using the interface object and making a call and then i am doing a post request so here you can pass in the url based on your need i am not going to do it over here because purpose of this video is just to show you or give you the idea how we can bring in all these pieces together so here you can see that i'm making a call over here so you need to pass in the url whether it is your get post whatever you want and then the input data so i want to pass in my current date time which i'm grabbing it from my interface function and then accordingly i'm returning the response so this is how we can inject dependency injection for a function app i hope you enjoyed this short video and thanks for watching